Performing an intermittent catheterization is a scary thought, but when you take it step by step, it's quite an easy task. The most important thing to do is to minimize infection. There are three ways of doing this. Keeping your hands clean, keeping the end of the catheter tip sterile, and keeping your genitals clean. Okay, so now I'm, now I'm going to get my gear out and set it up. You will set it up in your own way to suit yourself. But before I start, I'm going to wash my hands. This is the catheter, the ones that just go in and come straight out, are called Nelton catheters. There are a lot of catheters around, some come with a special coating, some already have lubrication, some come with bags attached and others have no bells and whistles at all. Of course the more extras the catheters have, the more expensive they are. And something to drain into, there is no restriction as to what you can use. When in hospital, while you are first learning, you usually use a catheter bag. This helps to keep the urine contained. It's easy to use when you're in bed and it helps to measure the urine output. You can also use a bottle or an extension tubing that drains straight into the loo. You must ensure you have lubrication. This makes sure the catheter can pass smoothly through the urethra. You can have individual packets or a pump pack. If you find it painful to pass the catheter, you can also get a lubricant with a numbing gel. Ask your nurse about this product. Something to clean your genitals, water wipes, wet wipes or a wet face washer without soap. You should wash your genitals with soap once a day but not more often as it destroys the healthy mucosa. Something to clean your hands with. If you're in the loo, you can use soap and water, but it's handy to carry wipes, debug, or antibacterial gel. Blueys. Blueys help keep all your equipment together and are a clean surface to place the equipment on. But if you don't have them, you just need to set up a surface to use. So some of the details might change if you have limited hand function, but the basic principles are the same. Okay, now I've got all my equipment ready, I wash my hands again. Open the catheter, but make sure it stays in the sterile packet. Sometimes placing a fold along the length of the packaging helps the catheter to remain in place. Attach the catheter bag or the extension tubing. It's really important to make sure that the catheter bag drainage valve is closed before you attach. Now cover the start of the catheter with lubricant. If you're a guy, you'll need about 10 centimeters of lubricant. If you're a woman, about five centimeters. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are going to use a penile model. So after setting up everything, including placing a field underneath the penis, you wash your hands. Concentrating on the thumb and index finger and rubbing till it's dry. You then pick up your sterile wipe, ensuring that you don't touch anything else. Open it up, so you use one surface, one wipe, one direction, so that's south, another surface, another direction north, then east and west and discard. You then pick up the catheter about three inches from the sterile tip.
and making sure the catheter doesn't touch anything. Wipe a little bit of lube on the meatus and then pointing the penis up to the ceiling, gently insert. Once you've started to insert, you can actually use your non-working hand to set the bag up. Gently insert. Till you feel the urethral sphincter. Once you feel the urethral sphincter, it's a slow, gentle pressure as you go through the sphincter. Once you are through the sphincter, you will see the urine draining through the tube. You can then hang on to the catheter so it doesn't pull out and stabilize your bag so you can watch the draining of the urine. Once the stream of urine stops, you withdraw the catheter about one centimeter at a time and watch the stream start up again. When it stops, pull it out another centimeter Watch your flow again, the urine flow, and repeat this step till the bladder is completely empty. Pull it all the way out and ensure that the tip of the catheter is pointing uphill so it drains into the bag. The catheter gets thrown out after it is used. The leg bag can be reused again after it is cleaned. It is cleaned with soap and warm water and left open to dry. Okay, well I hope this makes you feel less nervous about doing intermittent catheterizations. Once you do it a few times, it becomes quick and easier. And the great thing about doing intermittent catheterizations is that it gives you more independence and minimizes infections.